Hey everyone, this is one of my oldest known snakes. I have quite a few that I know are over 10 years old, but none that I know for sure exactly their age. This girl here, her name is Citrus. She's an albino San Diego gopher snake. They're absolutely gorgeous animals. For any of my Pituophis or North American colubrid aficionados, really doubt she's an Applegate. Bob Applegate, one of the pioneers of this hobby. Um, a lot of individual lines of his, well known for the Applegate line of the albino San Diego gopher snake. Um, don't think this is one of their, uh, one of his. Um, however, this girl, we, I know exactly how old she is because um, as one does when you become everybody's reptile guy, people end up finding you out and um, somebody was moving out of state. Um, this was his kid's uh, pet snake and they moved away to college and then a couple years later he was moving out of state to like, this is pre-COVID and he had had this snake since it was a baby, knew the breeder, picked it out like from the hatch egg and that's the one he went home with. Citrus here this year is 17 years old. So uh, typically a lot of the times people will say that colubrid specifically will live into their 20s. Um, this girl is still going strong, so 17 years old. I've heard of people's corn snakes, female corn snakes, um, still producing eggs past 15, 16 years old, and over 20 year old male uh, bull snakes still siring clutches. So I think that citrus here still, still, <laughs> still has quite a few good years left in her. Um, typical gopher snake attitude. So very curious, very inquisitive, very food motivated. Um, usually when she's not having it, she's not having it. But even compared to like our native bull snakes, um, marshmallow being an exception because she's always just, just hanging around and never has any real issues. Um, she just gets kind of huffy and tail rattles a lot. She never even gives that really iconic pituophis hiss. She's just absolutely a sweet, wonderful girl. Um, he had her in a 20 gallon tank for all of those years before I got here. So over a decade in a 20 gallon tank. Um, since I've got her, she moved into a 40 and now she's into a four foot long um, in a rack system, but it actually is a little bit more forest place for floor space, I'm sorry, uh, for her in there because they're a little bit taller. So she gets a little log hide. She can go in and out of stuff. She can bury down pretty well. And she seems to do pretty well. She's actually even accompanied me on a couple different education events as well. So just an absolutely wonderful animal. Very beautiful. Absolutely love all of the Pituofa snakes. You can tell that she looks very similar to that of between like a bull snake and a corn snake. And that's kind of what the San Diego gopher snakes are is they're a smaller, more handleable essentially version of a lot of the other gopher snakes. Really, really great animals. Absolutely love this girl to death. So hope you guys enjoy today's quick little video. Um, if you want to check out the rest of the other animals, check out the playlist, all of my reptiles and things like that. Um, if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, want to see anything else, please let me know down in the comments below. Um, and as always, thank you so much. Hope you're having a great day and we will check you next time.